ever wondered how the US reacted to NRL's Vegas extravaganza? Imagine this, David Lengel, a Brooklyn-based writer with scant experience of the sport, decides to live blog the Sea Eagles vs. Rabbitohs game for The Guardian. His commentary, a mix of humor and confusion, leaving many Americans bemused. Lengel's only prior NRL exposure was brief, watching Castleford on UK TV in 1995. Ahead of the game, he acknowledges, I'm eager to decipher this sport, live, and decipher it he did in his own unique way. When the Bunnies scored the opening try of the game, Lengel, an American football aficionado, amusingly referred to it as a touchdown. He found himself humorously lost in the flow of the rugby match, grappling with its unfamiliar pace, the lack of frequent commercial interruptions, and the continuously running clock puzzled him greatly. The seamless flow of the game was a peculiar change from the often stop-start nature of many American sports. The sport's unique rules also proved to be a bit of a puzzle for Lengel. It was cricket, a sport encapsulated by its uniqueness that was alien to him. He found himself perplexed by some of its strategies, especially the concept of kicking for touch. This particular rule came into play when Pendled was a testament to their courage. It was a sport unlike any other he'd seen before, so intense that it felt almost primal, reminding him of some kind of brutal, unfiltered combat. He found the lack of pads, helmets, and fear in the players to be impressive, even comparing the sport to human cockfighting as bloodshed became a common sight on the field. Despite his initial bewilderment, Lengel was captivated by the game's dynamic rhythm. He was taken aback by the quickness, stamina, and deft control of the ball. He was intrigued by the game's intensity and found it surprisingly enjoyable. He appreciated its chaotic nature, which added a unique, exciting twist. He confessed that he would undoubtedly attend the game if it were to come to New York and the ticket prices were reasonable. He even admitted, if this game came to New York and they didn't price gouge me out of the place, I'd go and watch, no question. And Lengel wasn't alone in his reactions. Multiple prominent personalities expressed their thoughts on the same. For instance, John Layfield, also popularly known as JBL, who holds the record for the longest tenure as WWE SmackDown champion, was all praises for it. He found it to be lively and engaging. On the other hand, another significant figure in the sports world, heavyweight American boxing promoter Lou DiBella, added his voice to the growing chorus of approval. He declared the NRL as fast, exciting, physical, and easy to understand. So, in the end, the NRL's introduction to America commenced with a touch of bewilderment and abundant laughter. It wasn't an easy journey, fraught with cultural differences and comedic misunderstandings. Yet, it also ignited a sense of leading to appreciation and a dash of deep-seated admiration. A unique blend of emotions filled the air, but overshadowing them all was an undeniable sense of accomplishment. Now that's what you call a success.